Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about conditional proof. In our last classes, we clearly discussed examples using inference formulas. Please watch those classes and come back here. Those basics are very, very important to understand this. So, coming to today's class, uh, we are going to first we need to understand uh, the definition for the conditional proof. Uh, then, after understanding the definition, it is very, very easy to do the examples. Uh, so, what is the definition here is if we can derive yes, understand it properly, if we can derive yes from R and a set of premises, R is a proposition. It may be single variable, it may be multivariable proposition, whatever. So, if we can derive yes from R and a set of premises, then we can derive R implies yes from the set of premises. That is what the conditional proof definition says. Let us try to understand this definition with an example that helps you a lot in understanding this. With example, let us take an example. If they have given a set of premises, this is one, this is second one, this is third one, all these propositions we called it as premises, hoping that you already know what premises means, a set of propositions and a, that propositions are values are true values, means if, if these propositions are true, then we need to show that R implies yes can be derived from the above premises. These type of examples we have done in our previous classes. So, the point you need to understand this question, whatever the question provided here, this can be written in another form also. What is that form? How we can we have to write? The same question can be written as understand it properly. R implies yes means if R is true, then S has to be true. That is what the meaning of R implies yes. With this, with this meaning, we are going to change the question in another format. What is that format means? T implies Q implies yes. This is the premises given. This is one premise, second premise, third premise. To this set of premises, we are adding R also. Why? Why we can add R also? See, from the definition, R implies yes means if R is true, then yes has to be true. Assume that R is true. We can add it as a premise. It may be single variable. If you are having a proposition here, take that proposition and add it to our premise. So, from this set of premises, you have to show that S is derived from above premises, from this set of premises. Both are same. From this premises, if you show that S is, S, S is true value from this set of premises, it is the same meaning as from this set of premises, you can show that R implies S is true. What is wrong with that? You are taking out this R and adding it to the set of premises. And you are showing it as from this above set of premises, we are deriving yes. That is what the meaning of R implies yes. If this is true, S has to be true. Both are same questions. If you understand this point, that is what conditional proof is saying. So, let us try to understand this. If we can derive yes from R and a set of premises, show that yes, if we can derive yes from R and a set of premises, then we can derive R implies yes from set of premises. Then we can derive R implies yes from this set of premises. Both are same. So, sometimes they are going to ask you questions based on this R implies yes. You have to derive the output should be is based on the implies. In that situation, you can take out the R value and add it to the premises and solve yes. That is what we have to do. So, now the question is given a set of premises without this. This is what the question is given a set of premises show that R implies S can be derived from above premises. We are changing using conditional whatever the rule it is saying conditional rule. So, how we are going to change? 
Now we are going to change the question to this. So given a set of premises, these are the set of premises. For this premises, we are adding R. So from the added premises, we have to derive S. Yes, you can do that. So now we are going to do this. Sir. So, so from this premises, we need to derive S. Yes, so understand it properly. So from the given set of premises, where we are having S yes, in this premise, we are having S. Yes. So P implies something. In this, we are having S. Yes. So how to how to get that S yes using our inference formulas? So and uh, so take the inference formula P P implies Q can be written as Q. So if you derive P from the premises P P implies this one we consider it as Q. Then we are going to get Q implies S. Yes. So that again you can reduce Q Q implies S. Yes. You are going to S. Yes. Get S. This is the intuition you have to get into your mind by looking at this premises from the inference rules which we discussed in our previous classes. So the point you need to understand if you are good at inference formulas, it is very very easy to solve this. So from this premises R negation R disjunction P R negation R disjunction P negation R disjunction P can be written as R implies P from the equivalence formulas. So now R, R implies P can be written as P from the I11 inference formula 11. P, P implies Q can be written as Q. R, R implies P can be written as P. So from this set of premises, we got P. So you can, you can use premise P also. By using this premise P and P implies, so P, P implies Q implies yes. P, P implies Q implies yes can be written as Q implies yes using the same formula I11. P, P implies Q can be written as Q. So P, P implies Q implies yes can be written as Q implies yes. Again. So from the premises we are having Q also. So Q, Q implies yes can be written as yes using same formula I11. So finally from the given set of premises we are deriving yes. Hope you understand conditional proof how we are going to change our question using conditional proof formula. So sometimes they are going to ask these type of questions by using the conditional proof. We can change the question and you can derive it easily. Hope you understand this example. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.